sending Artemis 1 mission to the moon to broaden human spaceflight horizons, landing a new Perseverance Mars rover on the Red Planet, DART mission designed to protect Earth from asteroid collision, HOPE Emirates Mars mission, which studies Mars's atmosphere in all its layers on a global scale. This is just a small part of space missions which have just happened or are scheduled for 2021. Space Missions of 2021 Subscribe to our channel and like this video so that the next episodes will come out even sooner. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the seventh planet by size in the solar system. It weighs 10.7% of the Earth's mass. Named after a Roman god of war, Mars is also known as the Red Planet due to its red surface thanks to the hematite mineral. People started studying Mars around 3,500 years ago in ancient Egypt. It was first observed through a telescope by Galileo Galilei as far back as 1610. And only in 1960, we started launching automated planetary stations to study the red planet. What happened in the space exploration industry this year? And what other important missions and launches are scheduled for 2021? A 2021 Perseverance Mars rover mission is part of NASA's long-term program for robotized Mars exploration. It aims to solve the main problem of astrobiology, namely the possibility of life on Mars. Perseverance was launched on July 30th, 2020 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. A one-ton car-sized Mars rover traveled through outer space in a protected aerosolized capsule which had two parts, a conical hind capsule and a thermal protective screen. On February 18, Perseverance finally managed to successfully land in the Jezero crater in Mars's northern hemisphere. The mission pursued two main goals, to find evidence of past microbial life on Mars and to try out new technology which will make sending people to the Red Planet possible. On April 20th, 2021, the Mars rover turned the carbon from Mars's atmosphere into oxygen for the first time. On June 1st, NASA's Perseverance Mars rover started a research stage after leaving the landing site named after a famous American sci-fi writer, Octavia Estelle Butler. Up until that time, the Mars rover was going through regular trials and supported monthly flight tests of Ingenuity Mars helicopter. It is expected to return to the Earth no sooner than in 2026. Scientific goals of the mission are to study the Mars's region where the outer environment might have been conducive to microbes and also check Martian soil for the presence of life forms. During its operation, the Mars rover will collect samples of soil and geological material and keep them on the surface to be potentially sent to Earth. Tianwen-1 is a Chinese automated interplanetary station, AIS, which consists of the orbiter, that is, Mars's satellite, and a landing section which carries a six-wheeled Zhurong Mars rover. Tianwen-1 was launched from a platform in Hainan Province, southern China, on July 23, 2020. On February 10, 2021, the probe reached Mars's orbit, making it the first Chinese satellite to do so. On the 14th of May, 2021, Tianwen-1 successfully landed in the Utopia Planitia. This Chinese mission aims to study the planet's surface and geology, its magnetic field, as well as soil and atmosphere composition. On May 19, 2021, the Zhurong Mars rover sent the first shots from the Red Planet. The pictures show the rover's parts standing on the landing section, as well as the nearest surroundings, covered with sand and small rocks. On July 11, 2021, China published the first series of scientific pictures from the Mars' surface, including the panoramic picture from the landing site, a group photo of the Zhurong Mars rover with a Tianwen-1 landing module taken by a wireless camera. The Mars rover is planned to operate for 19 Martian days. The Tianwen-1 probe stays in orbit 
and operates as a retransmitter, sending signals to and from Earth. Hope Emirates Mars Mission sets out to study all layers of the Mars's atmosphere on a global scale within one year. It would answer the questions of how Mars's atmosphere has lost its oxygen and hydrogen, and why climate change occurred so quickly on this planet. The outer space probe was launched on July 20, 2020, at the Tanigashima Space Center aboard a carrier rocket. On February 9, 2021, Emirates Mars mission reached Mars's orbit. It is planned to be a two Martian year mission, but it can be prolonged. There are also other interesting outer space events in 2021. For ages, humans strived to explore outer space and learn about its magical depths. 2021 is surely turning out to be a surprisingly productive year for all space explorations. Boeing USA has designed Starliner, a reusable piloted transport spaceship in support of NASA's program providing safe and sustainable commercial spaceflight services for passengers and cargo and delivering them to the International Space Station and lower Earth orbit. During a preliminary crewless test flight in December of 2019, the Starliner capsule didn't manage to attach itself to the International Space Station and had to return to Earth. The first successful test launch was in December of 2019. The second Starliner capsule flight test by Boeing, known as Orbital Flight Test 2, will take place on July 13, 2021. Astronauts Mike Fink, Nicole Mann, and Barry Butch Wilmore will be sent to the International Space Station and will have Boeing's first piloted test flight. The crew is expected to spend six months at the International Space Station. DART is a specialized spaceship designed to navigate and test technology to prevent Earth asteroid collisions. DART will first demonstrate kinesthetic percussion mechanism technology changing the asteroid's movement in space. NASA plans to launch DART aboard Falcon 9 from Vandenberg Air Force Base on November 14, 2021. It is planned to collide with an asteroid in September of 2022. NASA's double asteroid redirection test will become the first space mission to show the kinesthetic effect of colliding a percussion ship with an asteroid to change its trajectory and orbital speed. The DART's target is Didymus, a system of double asteroids in which the larger one orbits the smaller asteroid. The main asteroid, Didymus A, has a diameter of about 780 meters, and its small satellite has an orbital distance of around 1 kilometer and is about 160 meters in diameter. The smaller asteroid will be targeted for collision. NASA plans to launch the Orion spaceship aboard the Space Launch System carrier rocket as a part of the Artemis I mission. This will be the first flight of the SLS carrier rocket. It is planned to be launched from Kennedy Space Center on November 22, 2021. Orion will spend three weeks in outer space, including six days on the retrograde moon orbit. The moon exploration by the NASA Artemis program includes preparing to send the astronauts to Mars as a part of America's exploration of this planet. In 2023, Orion will have the first piloted crew flight as part of the Artemis II mission, and the spaceship's landing with the crew is scheduled for 2024. The first piloted launch of a crewed version of Dragon V2 designed to transport the astronauts to the International Space Station took place in 2020 thanks to SpaceX's Dragon V2 spaceship. SpaceX claims this mission will make spaceflight possible for common citizens. Inspiration4 is the first space mission designed solely for civilian purposes. The mission will be managed by Jared Isaacman, a 38-year-old pilot, a CEO of Shift4 Payments, and a famous thrill seeker. The Dragon spaceship is designed to transport seven passengers to Earth's orbit and back. This is the only spaceship today able to return to Earth a significant amount of cargo and the first private spaceship which will deliver people to the International Space Station. Dragon V2 will be launched with a commercial crew no sooner than September 15, 2021 from the launch complex of NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. 
the flight will probably take 10 days, including 8 days at the station and 2 days in flight. Write down your thoughts about these missions in the comment section below this video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video so we can see how many space aficionados are out there. Are out there.